I'm Ben Powers from Monroe Instruments and I'm going to show you how to prepare a rubber slider. Preparation of the slider is essential if you're going to have confidence in your test results. You need a uniform controlled finish to the slider in order to uh, produce a fair test. So assuming that your machine is set up properly, uh, leveled, zeroed and placed on the sample holder, the first thing that you'll need to do is to place a sheet of float glass in the sample holder. Next you'll need a sheet of the P400 sandpaper held in place with the clamp. Next you'll need to set the contact patch. There is a video on that if you're not comfortable with it. With the contact patch set, you're then ready to start swinging the pendulum, which will abrade the edge of the rubber slider. Because I'm refacing the slider, I'm only going to do three swings, but if this was a new slider, you would need to do ten swings, then reset the footprint, then do ten more swings, just to put the bevel on the edge. Once you've finished on the P400, it's a good idea to inspect the edge of the slider for any burring, and just remove it with a finger or a paper towel. Next I'm going to take a sheet of pink lapping film and I'm going to use the uh, shiny side down and matte side up. I'm going to place it on the float glass with a, a little bit of water underneath just to help it uh, stick in place um, and clamp that in position. I'm then going to set the contact patch again. You can see the lapping film uh, curling and creasing here. It doesn't matter whilst you're setting the contact patch uh, because the lapping film is the same thickness throughout. As long as it's smooth when you're doing your preparation, then that's fine. With the contact patch set, we're now going to do 20 swings in the wet. Um, and because we're just polishing the edge of the slider, we're not abrading it, we don't need to reset the contact patch halfway through. A little time-saving tip for you, uh, it's often much, much quicker to reface your sliders in a batch. You can do all of the dry P400s in one, um, one process and then follow up with all of the wet pink lapping film prep. It's also worth noting that you don't necessarily have to prepare the sliders immediately before you use them. You can prepare the sliders back at the lab and that would free up your time on site to just uh, cycle between the freshly prepared sliders. This slider prep process is in line with the UK Slip Resistance Group guidelines. Uh, local standards may differ. You may need to do, to do a different number of swings or use a different um, abrasive material. Having refaced one edge of the slider, you'll probably want to flip the slider over and reface the other edge. The way to do this is to make sure that you support the foot so you're not just pressing down to compress the spring. Um, if you support the foot and compress the slider, you'll then be able to take the pin out and lift the slider off the post quite easily. Putting the slider back on is the same process in reverse. You just want to make sure that you're not pushing down on the foot when you put the slider back on. That was how to reface a slider. Thanks very much for watching.